Hi folks, I've had some questions on the new Polar Air compressor. People want to know uh, more about it and how loud it is, which is a perfectly fair question and frankly something that's hard to um, read about. Um, so unless you can see one of these in person, sometimes it's hard to get a feel for how they sound. Um, so this is a brand new compressor. It's a five horsepower, two stage, um, you know, very well made, built in the U.S. It's got a motor made by uh, WEG, um, American made. It's got a nice uh, pump design. Um, you know, you pay for the quality. I think this was delivered, uh, I think, $1,700. I'd have to check that, but I think so. Um, and, uh, you know, it's some people have said, hey, is that too too big of a compressor for what you're trying to run it for? And um, the reality is no one's ever bought too big of a compressor. And I wanted, uh, you know, the, t the two smaller versions, if you will, would either be an 80-gallon tank with a single um, stage head or a uh, two-stage head with a 60-gallon tank. And neither of those downsizings made sense to me at all, especially since they're not that much cheaper. Um, and the reality is a bigger air compressor uh, runs less. And when it runs less, that means it runs cooler. And when it runs cooler, it means there's less moisture in the air. Um, you can see over here to the right, I've got my... Harbor Freight air dryer. Um, this is all sort of temporary right now because I've still got to set up my plasma. As you can see, it's uh, in progress. Anyways, what I wanted to do uh, was turn this on, on video. Um, I'm using an iPhone 4, and right now I'm standing about five feet away uh, from this compressor. It is sort of leveled, not definitively, but I've got some pads under there that keep it from rocking. Um, it's not bolted down, although my understanding is that you don't bolt it down to hold it down so much as you do to keep it from wobbling. Um, so um, it shouldn't have too much excess noise from that. However, it's still pretty new. It's probably been only, the pump itself has probably only run for a few hours. Uh, you know, I mean, I've probably run the compressor for 15 or 20 hours, but um, it's only had the actual pump running for a small portion of that. And it's in a relatively small block wall garage so the space is going to be amplified due to the smaller size of the room that I'm in um, but I'm talking on my phone about uh, about four inches away from it so I'll walk up to the compressor turn it on I'll take a step a few steps back I'll, I'll start about eight feet away and I'll just talk my way through it as I walk towards the compressor um, my opinion is that you um, can definitely hold a conversation at when you're four or five feet away in this size room. When you're right next to it, it's too loud to have a normal level conversation. But that being said, it's just still very, very quiet and it's very well made. And you can tell if you've ever been near one of those damn oilless, you know, hack job of a compressors that whine. Um, this thing is, uh, this thing sounds like a, uh, you know, sounds like a Ferrari. Um, so here we go. I'm going to turn it on. Um, so now I'm outside of that room, um, and I'm going to walk towards it. So here you can see I'm probably about uh, eight, nine feet away from it right now. And I'll just keep talking as I walk towards the compressor. But when you get to here, it's you know it's pretty loud in terms of trying to have a conversation, but um, it does not hurt your ears at all. Um, so I don't know what that means in the decibel rating. I'm not sure if I even care what decibels are um, because I can tell you being in the same room with it um, is not a problem at all. Anyways, um, I'm going to turn it off for now. The other thing the compressor has is, as you can see down here, is a electronic uh, automatic purge valve, which is great for keeping your tank drained. Um, ideally, I would like to plumb the air dryer in between the uh, compressor and the tank, which means the only air that goes into the tank has already been dried, but I haven't figured out how to do that just yet, so uh, I've got the air dryer plumbed after the tank, so it leaves the tank and hits the air dryer, and then it goes over to my equipment. Anyways, um, I'm going to turn this, this um, purge valve on down here, which you can see it's pretty loud. And it's electronic, you can adjust it. Um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, it's got two little knobs on the front there that you can use to adjust how the intervals. 
it comes on, meaning every 15 minutes or half hour or hour, and then when it comes on, how long it should purge for. Um, so that's the overview for now. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, folks.